video will show how Excel can easily be used to illustrate the famous Rule of 72. So what does the Rule of 72 say? Basically, when you grow your money at an annual rate of, let's say, 10%, how many years will it take to double your money? Well, you probably know that basically it takes around seven years. And so how does that come with the Rule of 72? In other words, what that means is 1.1 raised to the power seven, because that's what you'd have in seven years, is, a, is around two. So the rule of 72 says that basically, if you take 72 divided by your annual rate of 10%, it should take 7.2 years to double your money. Okay, that should be 1.1 raised to the seventh, sorry. Like that. Okay. So how would you solve for the actual number of years it takes to double your money? And then we'll do the rule of 72 and see how they compare. Okay. So if R is your annual rate and it takes N years to double your money, you want 1 plus R to the nth equal 2, where N is the number of years that basically it takes to double the a dollar growing at rate R. So in other words, in two years, you would have 1 plus R, one year you'd have 1 plus R to the first, Two years, one plus R squared. Three years, one plus R cubed, etc. So, in other words, a dollar would grow to a dollar ten in one year. The dollar ten would grow to a dollar ten times a dollar ten, or a dollar twenty-one in two years. And you'd see, in around seven years, you'd have around two dollars. So, now how do you solve for the value of n that would actually make this work? That's the actual answer. Then we'll compare it to the rule of seventy-two by copying formulas. Well, you take the logarithm of both sides here to solve for the number of years it takes to double your money. What's the logarithm of the right side? Logarithm of 2. What's the logarithm of the left side? The power you're raising to times the logarithm of the base, 1 plus r. Solving for n, you get the log of 2 divided by the logarithm of 1 plus r. So the formulas we'll use for our rule of 72 approximation, we take 72, but we've got to divide by that rate as a decimal multiplied by 100. Because when we have a 10% rate, we multiply by 100, we're dividing by 10. So let's do that part. So we would take 72 divided by, by order of operations, I need to put this in parentheses so it'll get done first times the rate. Okay, now if I copy that down, that should work out pretty well. See, in other words, at 10%, I get my 7.2 years. So that formula Would be right there. Now the real years would be the logarithm of 2 divided by the logarithm of 1 plus the rate as a decimal. Because here we were using R as a decimal. It's a little tricky. And so you can see it's pretty good approximation. It would take 7.3 years actually to grow at 10% a year to double your money. And our rule of 72 says 7.2 years, even with a 25% interest rate, okay, the actual number of years required is 3.11 years, and the rule of 72 says 2.88. So this is a great tool to use when you're doing back of the envelope or mental calculations, and we can easily illustrate it as we did in Excel. Now let's show that second formula for you. Right there. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.